if you were to go back to when you were in either high school or college, what is the best piece of advice that you would tell your younger self? Um, I would say get a mentor and listen to them and find someone, get multiple, find someone who's successful in where you want to go and then actually let that guide you as far as how you're going to live your life after high school. Absolutely, I love that. And I guess what is the importance of having a mentor been for you? It's it's guided me, so everything I've done, um, I've either had a mentor financially, professionally, and even when I was in the military, so it's actually helped me grow. And you get somebody you can ask questions to because, you know, not everybody knows everything, so you get somebody a sounding board to kind of help you and also kind of reel you in when you're going off the tracks. I love that. I love that. And so what? So you were in the military. What industry did you decide to pursue after the military? Right now, I'm in higher education. Okay, um, so actually, I'm an administrative director for advising career service in the military and veteran services at a small school in Florida. Yeah. So um, I leveraged what I did in the military for my mentors to actually get me where I wanted to be today. Wow. And what is the greatest lesson that the military taught you? Be where you're supposed to be, when you're supposed to be there, and doing what you're supposed to be doing when you're there. Absolutely. I love that. And so from someone in the military, do you think a college degree is necessary to be successful in today's society? I I guess I should say yes, but it depends on what you want to do. And my hesitation, I have a PhD, but you can actually be successful just getting some certificate programs out of school. Um, You can be an Instagram influencer and make money. Not everybody's going to be successful. I still would push a college degree, but based on your question, 20 years ago, I would say yes. Now you can actually be successful with a couple certificates and do what you want. So not necessarily need it but i would recommend that just to kind of learn some things in life what do you think is the best industry to become wealthy in 2022 i don't have a real answer because it depends on what wealthy looks like to you because it could be money it could be spiritually it could be physical um so it really depends on what you're looking for um i would say find something that you love and then the money will find you and so i guess from what you've seen like working with people in like the professional world whether it's like a certain skill set or attribute for you know someone to possess um, how can someone become wealthy in 2022? I guess, and it could be in any of those realms. Right? I would, yeah, I would say wealth, money, or, or just life, intellectual curiosity, figuring out how someone else did it and making it better, or better yet, just ask them how did you do it and, and kind of copy that, if you will. But I think curiosity is the key to a lot of things in life. I love that. And uh, I'll just ask this last question. Um, for someone coming out of college, what is your best piece of advice to someone who's starting out in the real world today? Um, be humble and, and listen, because I know you guys are probably a lot smarter than, than I was when I had the same age. But uh, when you get into an industry, you're going to grow. Again, finding that mentor, finding somebody you can actually learn from and use that information to kind of help you grow. So tag on somebody who's successful and move forward. I love that. And then uh, do you think money buys happiness? No. Why not? Um, because you can have a lot of money and still be unhappy. Again, I go back to finding something that you love to do. And I'll, I'll quote a, a rapper, Biggie Small. Don't chase the money, chase the dream. If you're doing something you love, you'll find the money. I love that.